You ever have those moments where you just wake up and you know your life is awesome? I have that moment every day. That's my girl, and she makes my life awesome. Don't eat the red box. Don't eat the red box. We all love the red box. Ooh, we're going shopping with daddy and mommy. Getting everything we need. Yeah. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the edge of every day. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away. <laughs> Alright, so let's have some fun, guys. A second ago, my wife almost died because she ate something that she said was too hot for her. So I'm going to try it and we're going to see if it's really hot. And if it's really hot, then you guys can all laugh at me being stupid and thinking that I'm stronger than my wife. Let's try it. Taquito. Mm. It's a little spicy. It's not that bad. Maybe she got all that spiciness, I don't know. But it wasn't that bad for me. So it goes to prove that you may look like a Mexican. You don't taste buds do change when you're pregnant, right? But if you're a pregnant Mexican, things change. Yeah, it's interesting when we go through life and we always try and one-up people and be better than people and think we're better than people. And something I was talking about a little bit with a friend of mine earlier is the fact that you do not have to always like someone to respect someone, to accept someone. And I think it's important that today I tell you a little bit about how you do that. Now, whether or not someone can handle a taquito is not a good basis for judgment. Sometimes you look at people, and not on purpose, but you look at people and you think about their life situation, their financial situation, the kind of car they drive, the uh, kind of clothes they wear, you know, you could judge people in a million different ways. And at the end of the day, we all live, we all breathe, and we all die. And it's not depressing, that's just reality. Life and death are the beginning and stopping points for every human being. And while we go through this period, we have a choice of what kind of legacy we leave after we get to this end point and continue past. So I want to encourage all of you guys to realize that skin color, status, family, all of that doesn't really matter. What matters is what you do with every single day. So I want to encourage all of you to take today and make it an opportunity to love someone, to love yourself, to appreciate the journey, and ultimately to have an intense future. This has been a brief, occasional vlog, and now I'm going to go watch Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Alright, so let's have some fun, guys. Sometimes you look at people, and not on purpose, but you look at people and you think about their life situation, their financial situation, if they uh, mouth off to... Out of the pot. What? <laughs> it's a 3D out of pot. So we're not going to talk about morality today. We're going to talk about cooking. Uh, Ray, why don't you tell them all the ingredients in your potato pot? Uh, pot being the actual utensil, for the record. <laughs> it is not potato with pot in it. But <laughs> Life and death are the beginning and stopping points for every human being. And... While we go through this period, we have a choice of what kind of legacy we leave after we get to this end point and continue past. <laughs> I can't do a vlog today, can I? <laughs> I'm take tomorrow as an opportunity. I can't do anything. <laughs>
Thank you guys for joining me on another vlog from In Future Tense. It's always exciting to share my life with you, and I hope you'll join me again next time. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and click subscribe or the like button. And if you didn't like what you saw, please feel free to leave some feedback uh, down below in the comment section so I can try and improve my content to make it more interesting and more suited to what you're looking for. We're all moving forward. Let's have an intense future.